When I'm out walking in the bush, I always have to remember that I'm really walking on the roof of a huge underground city. Most of the inhabitants stay indoors all day and only come out at night, but all of them have to be very careful to conceal their entrances. So I have to be very careful where I put my feet. This little patch of ground has a secret door in it. Yes, it's the lid of a trapdoor spider. It's made with such amazing precision that it just disappears from sight. It's beautifully hinged, it's waterproof, and it's secure against enemies. There's another spider belonging to the trapdoor family that doesn't put any kind of lid on its burrow. It's called the Sydney trapdoor spider, and all it does is decorate the entrance with a few leaves fixed on with silk. But when it comes to trapdoor spiders with a flair for decoration, you have to go right across the continent. The West Australian twig lining spider makes a conventional trapdoor, but she also puts a fan-shaped border of leaves or twigs around the entrance. Just to set the record straight, it's not done for aesthetic purposes, but to extend her sense of touch. When she sits at the burrow entrance waiting for victims, she can feel the movements of passing insects through her feet. This burrow in a rotten log belongs to another trapdoor spider, or should it be flapdoor spider? The burrow is closed by a silk flap, disguised with lichen and moss and fragments of wood. The young ones make their tiny burrows close together. All the trapdoor spiders catch their prey in more or less the same way. The spider waits in the burrow entrance with the door slightly open. Being short-sighted, it senses approaching insects through vibrations, and at the right moment, it strikes. But not always successfully. A bulldog ant may be deliberately rejected because of its sting. With all the nocturnal insects wandering about, a spider must eventually strike it lucky. Some of the wolf spiders put lids on their burrows too, particularly in the outback where temperatures are extreme. Wolf spiders spend quite a lot of time sunbathing, but you won't often catch them at it. Back to the trapdoor spiders, in case you're wondering, it's only the male that goes off wandering at night, usually looking for a female. The female stays down in her burrow in the dark, digesting a meal or perhaps entertaining a male visitor, and always protected by that highly efficient security door. <laughs> 